The Maryland Made Podcast provides timely, relevant, and practical information to empower student-athletes to explore their potentials and pursue their passions. We facilitate an inclusive environment for student-athletes to refine their leadership, explore professional possibilities, and enact change in their communities. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Maryland Made Podcast. I'm your host, Sydney Anderson, and I currently serve as the Coordinator of Student-Athlete Development. Within Maryland athletics, we have some of the most talented and ambitious student athletes that go on to do great things after their time at Maryland. On today's episode, you'll get to hear from the one and only Jagger Gray um, regarding his dream job and the different steps he is taking to get there. So Jagger, thank you for join joining us today. I had the pleasure yeah. of meeting you during summer bridge and appreciate you taking the time to share a little bit about yourself and the unique career you would like to explore in the future. Can you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, so I'm from Harrisburg, Mechanicsburg area in Pennsylvania, and uh, I'm a freshman here in Maryland. It's been a great experience so far. Uh, I'm a wrestler, and uh, I was introduced to the sport whenever I was five years old. I was watching WWE with my dad. I told him I wanted to wrestle. So that came from that. And then uh say a fun fact about me is I like to build Legos a lot. Okay, cool. So you mentioned this is your freshman year at UMD. So I mm -hmm. want to hear a little bit about your experience this far. Why UMD? What was it that sold you about UMD that, like, what was it that sold you on attending UMD? So on my visit and all the phone calls with the coaches, you know, the coaches seemed very invested in you and in like a person individually and the team as a whole. And it's a, it's a great program. We're on the uprise. We're getting better year by year. And uh, all the guys were nice. They were welcoming. It's all, it's like a family aspect. It's another family I have. I love that. And what has been the most challenging and least challenging aspect of transitioning from high school to college? Uh, the least challenging is probably meeting new people and making friends. Uh, everyone on the team's welcoming and same with UMD as a whole. Okay. And the, the most challenging, I'd say, is transitioning from high school wrestling to college wrestling. You know, high school and PA is pretty tough, but college, it's a whole nother step above. Okay. I love that. Um, And what were some of your goals entering college, whether it be academically, athletically, professionally, personally? What were some of your goals? Uh, I'd say personally and professionally, both making good connections with uh, different peers. Uh, academically, try to make the dean's list, get good grades throughout college and athletically to just improve every day and give it my all. I love that. Well, we're going to manifest all of that happening because you're going to achieve every single goal that you set out yep. for. I have faith in you. Thank um, you. So I want to slightly transition to discuss your future, specifically what you would like to explore as a career. During mm -hmm. Summer Bridge, um, which it, for our listeners who don't know, it's a session designed for incoming student athletes. Um, the Maryland Maid team basically gave an introduction of who we are and the work that we do, but we were also able to get to know students on a personal level and learn more about their career aspirations. Jagger, your answer definitely stood out amongst the crowd um, because of its unique nature. Can you tell our listeners about your career aspirations? Yeah, so uh, I want to be a mixed martial artist, an MMA fighter. And uh, I, I chose this because I grew up watching UFC fights and different MMA fights since I was four years old with my dad. You now it's been a big part of my life ever since. You know, I, I kind of just took taken a liking to it. I, I watch it every single weekend. And uh, I started to see my future in MMA probably around the time when I was like 15 years old, just starting high school. Uh, I, I don't know. I just, I really want to be a fighter. Okay. Have you been able to connect with any like MMA fighters offline or have you um, been to any fights ever? Uh, so I used to spar with people. I've been, okay. I've been boxing. I probably started around the age of 13. And then ever since I've been watching like YouTube videos of different combinations, different uh, kicks. And then even with just watching the UFC every weekend, you kind of like, you can see what people do, what works, what, what doesn't work. And also playing the UFC games. Okay. <laughs> like, I love that. You know, yeah. One of the best strikers in the US in UFC history, Max Holloway, said he learned how to strike from playing the game. So I took I took his advice with that. I love that. And what are some ways that you're positioning yourself right now for success in that field? 
Uh, well, wrestling here in Maryland, it's a great program, a lot of good guys, and wrestling's the foundation for MMA, in my opinion. The greatest champions and most champions in all, of all time have been wrestlers before making the transition. And then continuing just to practice my all-around game here and there throughout the summer. I do boxing, a little bit of jujitsu. Okay, that's awesome. And how would you say, well, you kind of just answered this a little bit, but how does the sport of wrestling aid in transitioning to MMA fighting? Yeah, so wrestling and MMA is not exactly the same. There's difference to it since it's stand up. You got to worry about strikes too. But I'd say a good wrestler is probably the scariest opponent someone has. Because someone can take you down and just beat on you the whole time on the on the ground. It's a different uh, playing field. Like one of the best of all time, Khabib uh, Nurmagomedov, not that good on his feet. He would swing wildly, but as soon as he got you down, you were done for submission, ground and pounds, and he ended up uh, finishing his career thirty and zero or twenty nine and zero. Okay. And what does the training typically look like for MMA? Whew. Uh, a lot of training, multiple times a day, probably one day off, you know, one session wrestling, the next session striking, the next session conditioning, jiu-jitsu. It's kind of all relative to which gym you enter and which gym you pick, but it's a lot of training. Okay, nice to know. And what would you say, hmm, I feel like we asked that. How do you plan on leveraging um you mentioned you were an accounting major. So what? how do you plan on levering your accounting degree while also being an MMA fighter? So uh, with my, uh, if I end up getting good credibility and status in the MMA world, which I think I could, uh, I plan on uh, opening businesses along the way too. So that I could, I could leverage my account and stuff with the, just the understanding of business and then become an entrepreneur from there as well as continuing to fight. Uh, there's a lot of fighters that are doing that now, opening different companies while they're still fighting. Uh, like Conor McGregor, he owns a couple companies for himself. Okay. And what ways do you think, um, how, within, with NIL being the new hot thing, how are you kind of leveraging that platform as well and just kind of building your brand now. So when you do become an MMA fighter, it's easy for you to, not easy, obviously, but it's yeah. not as difficult to transition yeah. from just being an MMA fighter to also being an entrepreneur. Yeah. So with NIL, I have, I have a, I've had a couple deals and I'm just trying to like grow my brand as much as I can before I do enter like the MMA world as, as a wrestler. But one of my uh, favorite ones I did with Quiet Punch. It's like a it's a boxing thing that you can hang up in the doorway. So and it makes like it's Quiet Punch. So not a lot of sound. You don't disturb a lot of people. That was probably my favorite one. They sent me uh their uh, product and I was able to post a video with doing that. Well, that's actually wow. That's dope. I never. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, is there any advice that you would provide to someone who coming into college, like they want to do a similar career path to similar career path to you, um, while also getting their degree and something they're passionate about? Uh, yeah, I would say it's a lot of hard work, and you have to know what you signed up for. And you got to be willing to put in, put in a hundred percent effort in in what you do. You know, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging at times, but you just got to keep your chin up, stay positive, and keep working no matter what happens. I love that. Well, now it's time for us to learn a little bit more about your interests outside of your profession through a little session we call Rapid Fire. So I'll ask you a question, and you have to respond with the first thing that comes to mind. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going to be your walkout song when you're an MMA fighter? I probably have to go something Eminem. Okay. I like that. Favorite MMA fighter? Ooh, it's a tough one. All time or right now? All time. All time, Matt Hughes. People. <laughs> Matt Hughes, all time, right now. I probably got to go Alexander Volkanovsky. Okay. Um, And what WWE or UFC? UFC, 100%. <laughs> I 
I stopped liking WWE once I found out it was fake. <laughs> Same. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I got a better one for you. WWE, SmackDown, or Monday Night Raw. See, everyone's a big Raw fan, but I I like SmackDown. I'm I like Blue more. Okay. That's that's great. Um, so thank you so much for participating in such a great conversation today. Before we wrap up, can you share with our listeners how people can follow you for updates and reach out to you if they have any questions? Yeah, so uh, my Instagram's at JaggerGray1. My Twitter's at JaggerGray5. Reach out to me there. Ask me any questions. Give me a follow. I love it. I will definitely tag your Instagram and social media on all of our platforms and things like that. Um, but thank you for joining us. For all of our listeners, all student athletes at Maryland, Career Readiness Week is upon us. So be sure to stop by um, to our Career Readiness programs this week and all of the student-led groups the following week. So, Jagger, thank you. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for having me.